Today we are going to look at two studies in regard to functional foods that have similar outcomes. The outcomes we're looking at is basically their impact on bad bacteria or bacterial infections. Now each one was utilized in combination with an antibiotic, in which case the antibiotic would have been deficient in its effectiveness without the combination of particular functional food, one being cranberry, the other being manuka honey. Henceforth, similar, similar outcomes. We're not going through dosages because these are primarily pilot studies. However, when you actually look at these studies, the effect of combination of an antibiotic with this functional food, either being cranberry or manuka, was incredibly, incredibly effective on the insulting or invading bacterial infection. With that in mind, let us proceed with the first study in regard to manuka honey. Manuka honey to kill drug-resistant bacteria found in cystic fibrosis infections. Previous manuka honey, this is kind of a cue the researchers into why to utilize manuka honey. And this you'll find in lightning. Previous manuka honey research has focused on pathogens associated with wounds. However, many species found in wounds are synonymous with pulmonary infections. Using lung tissue from pigs, experts treated grown bacterial infections mimicking those seen in cystic fibrosis patients with manuka honey. The results showed that it was effective in killing antimicrobial resistant bacteria. Get this. 39% for the Manuka honey, 29% for the antibiotics. Wilson proved the activity of some antibiotics that were unable to function effectively by themselves, henceforth the accompaniment. Now, in combination with these antibiotics and Manuka honey, we proceed. Honey and antibiotics combined killed 90% of the bacteria tested. With that in mind, let's go into the full study. There was a certain strength Manuka honey which they utilized as you see there, which is unique Manuka factor rating of 12 plus. Now, looking at the full study as well, an interesting way of applying Manuka honey in regard to these particular infections as follows. Alternatively, higher concentration of Manuka honey could be readily incorporated into a sinus rinse solution and be used to clear sinal nasal cavity infection reservoirs preventing the migration of bacteria from the upper airway into the lung and affording terminal cystic fibrosis patients the opportunity to undergo life-saving lung transplant transplantations. Keep in mind, this is a pilot study. Future studies have to be done in living models and eventually carried out to humans. However, still just the same, the preliminary results are just incredible in regard in our regard to Manuka honey. All right, now the next one, cranberry. Cranberries join forces with the antibiotics to fight bacteria. Again, both these studies came out about the exact same day, henceforth we're covering them both. Research conducted at McGill University and NIRS has found that a cranberry extract makes bacteria more sensitive to antibiotics, a promising avenue for limiting resistance to these, uh, to these important drugs. We're gonna go into the full study as well, and this gives you a little bit of enlightenment in regard to why they want to look at cranberry. Just like manuka honey in regard to wounds and lungs, cranberry, they want to figure out whether it can have this one particular use as follows. The American cranberry fruit and its derivatives have long been anecdotally reported as a natural remedy for urinary tract infections. And when you see CPAC, that is cranberry proanthocyanidin, and condensed tannins that can hinder bacterial attachment to cellular or biomaterial surfaces, impair bacterial motility, and induce a state of iron limitation and interfere with the quorum sensing, how the bacteria communicate with each other. To proceed to the end, last sentence. However, the potential of CPAC cranberry proanthocyanidins to interfere with the evolution of resistance to antibiotics or rescue the effectiveness of antibiotics has never been investigated. This is the results of the study, or I should say the investigation. Normally, quoting, when we treat bacteria with, antibiotic, with an antibiotic in the lab, the bacteria eventually acquire resistance over time. But, quoting the researcher, but when we simultaneously treated the bacteria with an antibiotic in the cranberry extract, this is where it gets amazing, 
no resistance developed. We were surprised by this and we see it as an important opportunity to proceed. An analysis showed that the cranberry extract increases bacterial sensitivity to antibiotics by acting in two ways. First, it makes the bacterial cell wall more permeable to the antibiotic, and second, it interferes with the mechanism used by the bacteria to pump out the antibiotic. Consequently, the antibiotic penetrates more easily and the bacteria have a harder time getting rid of it, which explains why the drug is affected at lower dosages. So, in any case, utilizing a cranberry in combination, again, in future studies, if the information here is validated, when cranberry is used with eyes with antibiotics, you probably get away with using a lot less antibiotics, as well as making the antibiotic very effective in, uh, in situations where it may not be effective at all. So it's incredibly enlightening, use that word the third time there, in regard to Manuka and cranberry, each have an impact working cohesively with an antibiotic to basically boost its strength. Albeit the Manuka, for example, outperformed the antibiotics 39% to 29% on its own. So that's pretty fascinating as well. However, though, very promising information that can definitely over time, hopefully, show to save lives. Now, this information will have DOI citations linked to the studies. Each one, I believe, is a full published study. So you can go through the methodology and so on and so forth. So links will be there for you to follow, and of course, on the YouTube channel. But in any case, incredibly, incredibly cool information, information in regard to these particular two functional foods that I hope you find is of use. As well, we did not get a chance to go into dosaging because, again, we're not dealing with people as of yet, so we don't know exactly what dosage would be required to elicit this incredible effect as currently posted. So, hope you find this information of use. Look forward to seeing you all in the next seven days. Links will be there for you. And as always, thank you very, very much for listening. I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Catch you all later on.